Hello, this is Scott with Rizzo Controls, and this video is about limiting an override duration for an entire station. Whether that's a Jace, whether that's a supervisor, doesn't matter. It's all done the same way. Today, I'm using a Vicon branded version of Workplace at version 4.13, and I've already got a station running here with an air handler graphic. And so what we're trying to eliminate is when I go to override this fan, either on or off, we want to eliminate this permanent option. So the way that we do that is I'm going to right click my config here and go to its AX property sheet. In the AX property sheet of my config space, I'm going to hit the chevrons on my sysinfo property slot. And I'm going to add a facet here with the little plus button. And under the key, I'm going to look for max override duration. We certainly want a relative amount of time. And maybe I say, hey, we don't want an override for more than 24 hours. OK, cool. Let's click OK a few times. Something's highlighting in red here, so I've got to click this Save button. And if I go back to my air handler graphic and try to override this fan off, now I can't go beyond this 24 hour mark. And this affects every writable in the station, right? So that includes my occupied set points. I can't override these for longer than 24 hours. If I try, say 25 hours, it's gonna yell at me and say, hey, that's not a valid argument or a valid value in this case. I can only go between one millisecond and one day for an override. If I said, hey, I'm gonna let my occupied cool set point be overridable for 48 hours, well, then I can actually go to that point specifically go to its AX property sheet and add that same max override duration in let's say 48 hours. And this actually supersedes what we put in that sysinfo earlier. And to prove that, click here and click save, head back to my graphic, and now I can override that cool set point for 48 hours where my fan is still stuck at 24. If I try 25 just for giggles, it yells at me. So hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, additionally, the second part of this video is actually renaming this active and inactive invoke slots or action slots. The way I'm going to rename active and inactive is by going to my fan point here and going to its AX slot sheet. In the AX slot sheet, I can scroll down and find the active and inactive action slots. And I'll double click this under the display name. And I'll change active to maybe override on and click OK. And maybe I change inactive to override off. And now if I go back to my graphic, now it's override on and off instead of active and inactive. Hopefully this helps you. We appreciate you. Have a good day.